Hello and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Adepta Sororitas Battle Force or Sisters of Battle Battle Force for Warhammer 40,000 from Games Workshop. Now it's yeah not really in this box <laughs> because uh, there's a 50 50 chance of me opening the right box for sisters and uh, yeah of, of course i got it wrong but um, let's uh, have the unboxing experience uh, nonetheless uh, so <laughs> i know that what's in here is uh, another admech um, battle force which almost finishes almost finishes my admech army off just got a few more units to pick up from the uh, and I'm definitely going to uh, get the uh, combat patrol um, like in the new year, I think. So of course, this is Admech. But hey, look, first time. This is uh, Adeptus Sororitas. Um, a bit of a thicker uh, battle force, I would say, compared to um, most of the others. Uh, if we just you know compare it to the Admech one, it's probably say about half an inch uh, taller. Um, most of them are the, the thinner ones. This one, I think I want to say that this one, the Orcs and the Primaris are the same thickness. Um, they might be uh, a little bit thicker. But the one thing that uh, strike me first about this battle force, and I, I really hoped that they would include uh, these models in it, um, that this battle force goes above my expectations. I, I honestly believe that they would provide two tanks. Um, I thought maybe an Exorcist, uh, and then a Rhino, but they've excelled themselves and they've put the Exorcist and the Immolator. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. Super, they could have just put the Castigator in because you've got a brand new unit there that only came out a few months ago, the Sacrosants. Um, so yes, they could have probably done that um, and I would have preferred that if they put the Castigator in there along with the uh, Exorcist. However, that would be a very offensive tank heavy um, force and having the emulator means you can split that um, battle squad and put five of them in there or uh, the sacrosants which is quite nice. So yes I looked at this set and saw the two tanks which you know once the emulator is 45 pound and the exorcist is 50 so you're almost at that 125 pound um, marker for this set. In terms of calculations, uh, it's £125 and um, if you bought all of these units separately it would cost you £185 so you are still saving £60. Uh, of course if you can pick this up for about £100, um, maybe not from Element Games because uh, they're sold out there, um, but you would have saved yourself £80 with the discount and then if you used your crystals uh, as well to get £10-£20 off, um, yeah, you, you, these sets, that's why they're so popular because if you save up your crystals throughout the year you could potentially be uh, buying these kits for way less than half price which is fantastic. Anyway, going back to the calculations, a, a Battle Sister Squad is £35, let's not forget. So already you're getting part of that set for free, you're getting the Sacrosants for free and you're getting the Dogmata. It's just my opinion, but I don't think uh, you should be forcing that model on anybody, as even even for the price of free, um, because uh, it's one of the weakest they've, they've ever made. Um, and I'm just not a big fan of it. Uh, one of the reasons is the paint scheme. Uh, once you see it, you can't unsee it, so just be wary of what I'm about to say. It's the sausage fingers. Um, what they've done is they've painted the um, kind of rim of the handle uh, a very bright gold which kind of blends into her uh, left hand and so it makes her look like she's got um, five you know fingers or that um, something's happened with the glove. Uh, maybe it would have been better to paint that a different colour or even the gloves a different cover, colour but uh, it, it is what it is. Anyway let's have a look at the reverse and see if they've um, given us some variants which they have. They've shown us with the sacrosants with the maces and uh, one with the um, awesome looking uh, spear and halberd. Uh, that is my go-to. Uh, I, I bought this set specifically to um, bump up uh, my sacrosants with more halberds and spears or, or spear because you don't get one. Uh, the Battle Sister Squad, need I say more, it's a very decent multi-part kit um, with heavy bolters, heavy flamers, different um, relics uh, and if that's not enough you can you also have a, a choice of building 
um, Celestian squads, which have the um, Fleur de Lis icon on their helmets, and also Dominion squads, which are pretty much the same as Battle Sisters squads, but they have access to some um, nice special weapons. Um, then you've got the Immolator tank. You've got three different variants here. Uh, although it doesn't show it, you've got the Heavy Flamers, the Multi Melters, which have had that buff with their, their two shots. Um, and also you, you can put the Heavy Bolters in there. Uh, as well. You've got the Exorcist which has the kind of micro cluster missiles, whatever you want to call them, and then the thicker ones. Um, I think I went for the thicker missiles. Um, I'm also not going to put so many cherubs on the next one, uh, but I did go for um, the head option which isn't displayed here, which is uh, a helmeted version with the organ type um, helmet coming out, coming from it. So I'm going to pick uh, a, a different head uh, for that one. Um, but still, fantastic tank. Both of the kind of Rhino chassis are the same. They're uh, lowered. Uh, they're on these lowered tracks and the same for the Castigator. So it's sort of like the same sprue for the three tanks. Um, the only difference is with the Rhino. Uh, the Rhino is the old, old, over 20 year old uh, sprue with a Sisters of Battle um, accessory sprue thrown in. Then you've got the Dogmata, the weakest model in the whole kit, uh, and I would have much preferred to have the Palatine in there. Um, you know, the Palatine isn't a relatively, the Palatine isn't that much of a new model, uh, and I would have preferred the Palatine over this new Dogmata. I guess the Dogmata isn't selling that well, and um, not that it takes up much space in their warehouse, but they've thro thrown the Dogmata uh, in with this kit um, but a solid choice uh, of uh, units for this one I was very impressed with uh, what they picked except for the you know elephant in the in the room so without further ado let's uh, unbox this and have a look at the sprues you can already tell that the, the tray is thicker um, and there's more space. I mean, yeah, there's a bit more space. I don't think they could have fitted all of this into a, a thinner tray um, uh, box. But uh, you've got your bases there. You've got the Dogmata, just going straight in the bin. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, someone in the comments will say, oh, super, just post me it. Uh, you've got the Sacrosants, which um, they are only... Uh, well, well I say sort of three sprues um, and this is what you'd get in in the box but they just I think they'd break break one off uh, sacrosants are still quite expensive um, you know for the for the five that you get although they're not that tough um, they do have a two plus save and an invulnerable save and their weapons are quite decent except for they just miss out on, on the range because they just have the, the normal bolt pistols and um, but £34.50 for five which is quite expensive um, for, for, for this it is it is let's not be around the bush here um, it's expensive they're not primary size you get your two options but they are a good looking unit um, and uh, in my opinion better looking than the uh, the big um, uh, suits that they brought out. Uh, one of my favourite kits uh, out of the Sisters release and you can just type in Sisters of Battle Sacrosants and uh, have a look at my review that I did earlier this year. This is the sprue for the uh, Immolator, it's a specific uh, sprue here for all the parts that make up the Immolator. It has a unique um, top um, sort of chassis, you've got the uh, heavy flamers, you've got the um, multi melters, and you've got the uh, heavy bolters as well. Uh, worth noting, I would not glue this on if you want to use the contrast paints uh, or the glaze paints to, to make the um, lovely colourful stained glass window um, effect. So that's the uh, immolator. You've got the new um, chassis for the Rhino with the built-in, I want to call them reliquaries, but they're kind of like statues and things and the um, like closed Rhino doors. Uh, this is going to be exactly the same as the Exorcist one, which I can already see is, is here. Uh, so you get two of these sprues, one for the Exorcist, one for the uh, immolator. Um, they're very decent. I like the uh, braziers. Uh, I nearly said the other word. Uh, and I like the um, uh, tank treads with the, uh, you know, fl with the uh, roses um, uh, embossed in there and the uh, side hatch doors. Uh, not quite sure how they open because obviously, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a line there. Maybe there's uh, an overlap, like one side the skull is, is attached to and when it opens, um, the skull is like part of one of the doors, but it does uh, raise that question. Um, why well, they didn't put a line through the through the skull, but you've got the um, 
side steps um, uh, for the tank as well and, and the very uh, ornate uh, hunter killer missiles which I would not leave home without either. This is the other sprue that you would get with the Exorcist. Again I think it's fantastic that they're crammed in um, you know the, the top uh, chassis of the tank with some detail for the roses and the uh, the keys for the organ um, you've got the micro cluster missiles and then the, the heavy missiles in terms of rules wise it really doesn't make a difference you can go for for either of them and um, that will be fine you've got the cherubs which are a bit sort of spindly it gives height to the tank and you've got the big big uh, winged angel I want to call it um, of the of the rear of the tank and these uh, gratings and uh, spike bars and then this front um, it's not even a dozer blade it's just like a you know some <laughs> corrugated iron uh, that's been put on the front and you've got the horns and the outlets for the uh, organ this is one of the, the heads look with the organ type on it but you've got uh, a couple of helmetless heads as well which I might go for. I might just pick a helmeted head for my um, growing uh, collection of spare parts. Um, and then you've got the Battle Sisters uh, squad. So although it's £34.50, so the same price as the Sacrosants, look how much more you're getting. The Sacrosants, you're, you're te the Sacrosants, you're getting like one, two, three sprues. Uh, this, you are getting three, but the you know, this, these sprues are bigger than the Sacrosants. Lots of options here. It's a fantastic kit. Um, I only wished that Games Workshop had um, put enough care and attention to the Orc Boys uh, box set um, than they did for these sisters. Uh, I, I thought this was going to be the standard for all troop choices for all of the armies moving forward because you get so many heads, so many weapon options, loads of different poses, um, mixing and matching things, um, it, it, you know, lots of detail. Uh, everything is just crammed in. It's just a fantastic uh, troop choice. And, um, you know, you can definitely buy multiples of this um, uh, set of sisters and uh, have a good time. You've got oh, a few uh, 25 mil bases. I think they're for the um, Armorium Cherubs or, or whatever uh, floating about. Uh, you've got uh, two, wow, they're really generous, two transfer sheets, 2019. Uh, yes, I think probably one's the, for the vehicle, maybe. Uh, no, they're just two. Um, Celestians, okay. So you've got Celestians. So two of those. You've got the Exorcist instruction guide. Um, Quite straightforward. Probably take you a bit longer than you expect because of all the accessories at the end. Um, but yeah, you've got the three heads. I might have the one with the wispy hair. Uh, I've yet to decide. Um, but that's the Exorcist. This is the Immolator. So these are the two sort of 50 pound tanks in here. Um, yeah, and there are your three weapon options for the main weapon. Uh, I think you can carry five or six um, Battle Sisters from memory. Uh, but yeah, really lovely, good looking tanks. I'm pleased that they put them in this set. And then you've got the tried and tested Battle Sister squad, which you can turn some of them into um, Celestians or Dominions. Yeah, look, Celestian squad, Battle Sister or Dominion. I think I cheated a little bit in my last full um, build of them and I built half Celestian, half uh, Dominion. Um, but look, it's very well colour coordinated, but it's a bit tricky to follow, I'd say. Uh, this is the Dogmata. Uh, different head option. I, I mean, I think with the helmetless one, it's just the way that she's painted. Uh, but this time I'm going to go for the, the different looking mace, even though I prefer the, the previous one. Uh, and then the Sacrosants. One of the best uh, kits in here. You've got that awesome uh, spear, um, which I probably will attach. And there we go. So that's that's that one. Uh, so there you go. Um, would I suggest uh, picking up uh, two of these? If you don't own any Sisters of Battle, uh, sure. Because then, you know, if you, if you wanted to have them as Battle Sister Squad, you could have, uh, you know, two units of 10. So there's your two troop choices. And you could have, you know, one Dog Martyr. And then Sacrosants, you could have them as all Maces or all Halberds or you know, two units of them, and then you've got uh, two tanks as well. So getting two of them is, is a very decent um, basis for a sister's army. But if you wanted to bulk them out a bit more, it's gonna have, it's gonna cost you, because, you know, sisters aren't cheap. The, they've got the battle suits, they've got the castigator tank, which is a 52 pound 50 um, uh, model, which is very expensive for a 
you know, essentially a City of the Battle Predator tank. And they've got some other pricey units such as the uh, Triumph of St. Catherine and uh, the Battle Sanctum and a few of the other um, characters as well. But what do you guys think? Please do put your thoughts and opinions of this box set down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.